Hello there, I'm Spud. And I'm Jose, and welcome to our new series, Jank to Rank. And this is how it works. Week one, we will take it in turns spinning this wheel until we each have at least enough to build a 40-card main deck. Then, using our limited knowledge of the game, we'll build the jankiest, barely playable piles possible before kindly gifting that pile to each other and jumping into phase two. In phase two, we play a series of best of one jewels, and after each jewel, we spin the wheel again. Only this time, we will be picking what we want to add to our decks in an attempt to take them from jank to rank. So let's get on and spin that wheel then. And oh, spinny spin. Spinny spinny the gonna wheel. Give it, gonna give it a couple of hits. So you are... Oh, proper wheel, proper wheel of fortune this yeah. now. Oh, spirit <laughs> monster or. Spirit Monster. Or... Yeah, yeah, I'll give you the first choice, Spud. Or... Oh, fair dues. Oh, or a ritual okay. spell. Oh, great. A Spirit Monster or a ritual spell. I am going to take a... Oh, no, I've got to choose for you, haven't I? Ah, okay. Uh, I will pick a ritual spell. Right, okay. I will... So I've got okay. to give you a Spirit Monster, then. Yeah, ritual spell. God damn it. Spirit monster. I used to get in something then. Right, let's spin the Absolutely. wheel. Absolutely. Okay. Round two spin. So you get the first pick here. Yep. See what I get. Well, I can either give you an effect of the best card ever, the effect monster four star. <laughs> <laughs> the four star effect monster, or, I'll take that. Or... Oh, a five to six star effect monster. Which do we want? I'm going to give you a five to six star effect monster, I think. Oh, so I get to pick a four star effect monster for you. Yeah. Okie dokie. This <laughs> is going to think of some really random thing to like throw into your deck now. I've got, I've got, I've got some ideas. I've got some ideas. You <laughs> coming at this all pre-prepared and everything? I'm... No, I just, just think of the first thing that pops into my head. I, I just, I just know what I like to give you. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's sounds, spin it. Sounds perfect. Right, what we got? Let's get some, uh... Okay, first extra deck monster, link monster, or either a link monster or oh. Normal monster seven or more stars. I think I will give you a seven or more star normal monster if I could have a link monster, please. Yeah, I figured that was coming my way. <laughs> right, you get a link monster. I'm sure I can find you something. <laughs> oh, you just give me. You know I don't like links. You're just gonna give me Halky Five right now. I can't. Out. It's banned. Uh, we're playing by band rules, aren't we? Uh, yes, we should probably clarify that as we build these decks, um, we're playing with the current band list as it stands February 2023. Um, but we're only uh, we're only allowing one of each card, so no multiples, proper Highlander format. Yep. And one card between the so, two of us as well. So if I take, say, exactly. Solemn Judgment, you can't anymore. <laughs> no. So it's kind of like proper limited card pool for everybody. Everything's at one, yep. apart from those cards that are back. They're at none. <laughs> right, let's let's get another wheel spinning. Right, let's get let's get another spin in. Okay. okay. We've got to get forty of these. Yeah. So we're at one extra deck monster. Or Okay, that's your choice, isn't it? Either yeah. an extra deck monster for me. Or probably whatever this slice is going to be. I'm I'm going to give you a normal monster five to six stars. God's sakes, I've got to get you one extra deck monster. You certainly do. Okay, I'm just going to make it just the most unsummonable thing ever. Ah, oh, that's just... Well, on a normal <laughs> monster, that I just one tribute. I don't think there's any that are unsummonable. <laughs> find a way. I'll find a way. Right, let's let's give it one more spin. Give it, get another spinny on the wheel. So you can choose between. That is the exact same slice. <laughs> I've not quite gone through it. Oh, you got one extra deck monster. We've got monster. an extra deck monster, yeah. okay. Or. Oh. 
No one wants a seven or plus star. What is it with this wheel? Okay, we'll flip reverse it. I'll give you another normal monster seven or more stars. And I will give you an extra deck monster. Okay. Five cards in. Yeah. we uh and then uh, another spin? Yeah, let's I think another spin. Another Keep spin. it going. Keep it going. Yeah. That monster four star. Well, you're obviously going to want that one, aren't you? I, I might do. I might do. I could. Of all the slices, we get the same slices. It. Come on, wheel. Be nice I to us. I could want a field spell. <laughs> so I am obviously giving you a field spell. <laughs> okay, so I've got to give you a four star effect monster. Yeah. You know they're not Goodness the most useful sake. cards. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to workshop this now. Like, <laughs> with all the with all the random things I could possibly give you. Yeah. And we're back with what amounts to a pile of just awfulness. I'm sorry about this one, Spud. This is not going to be fun for you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing it. I've not seen the live reveal yet. Go, go, ahead, go ahead and reveal the deck that I've built for you. <laughs> Oh god, let me have a look at this. I've got it up on my screen at the moment so people can see it. Oh my life. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd go for the hungry burger with the rich Hey Okay, right. I like a hungry burger, man. <laughs> Dragon Core Oh, you've given me Dragon Core Hexo as my tuner. Okay, yeah. I'm just sorting this. Ghost beef, yes. Yeah. If you if you have Sucky a look nine rocking that L O B. If you have a look, the mild turkey and the ghost beef. You can get perfect scales if you're lucky enough on the dice. <laughs> <laughs> I want four and seven. What's with it? Oh, my days. Oh, just, second line. You've given me the sphinxes, you animal. <laughs> yeah, but if you're lucky enough on the dice, you can pen summon them. <laughs> on the dice? Wait, what? So so if you use ghost beef and get a six, yeah. get to 10. Oh no, you still can't summon it. <laughs> no, I can't. Do you not know how pendulum somebody works? <laughs> no, I've never pen summoned anything. <laughs> you had this whole oh. strategy in mind for me, and then you've just realised that... <laughs> well, I guess you tribute summon for them then. <laughs> oh god, right, okay, so I'm just on the second line here. Arcana Force XVI, what's that? 18? The moon? Yeah. The hell is this? Um, during your stamina phase, you can special summon a moon token. Oh, please tell me you're giving me attack the moon at least if I've got a moon token. I, I have. Oh my goodness, you give it right. You're gonna love when you see the card I've given to you as well because we've got on the same wavelength oh. here. Uh, okay, giant orc Fushinotori. Was that my spirit monster? Yeah, that was just your, your okay. one and only spirit. Near flare scarab. Okay, nice. Yeah, Chrysalis Pantail. Never seen that card before. Looks like an avatar frozen in ice. <laughs> Chrysalis Kitty. Chrysalis. You give me a Chrysalis package and second goblin. Okay, base gift. Yeah, well, right, I've okay, given you like a little good. Neo Space package. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, because you know I love that GX era. Not. <laughs> okay, Best right. Era. You've given me the Ujo friendship and unity. <laughs> I don't know how a digital handshake works, but I want to try it. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, burning Spear, what the hell? Oh, I've got a little fire package, Horn of the Unicorn, one of my least favourite cards. Yep. Umi and Wasteland, Neo Space. I've got three field, four field spells. Yeah, Did I pick up four field spells? You spun bad on field spells, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh my days. Yumi, Wasteland, Neo Space, and Forest. Okay, huge revolution. So wait, you've actually you've given me all yeah. <laughs> just clock that United Resistance people running about to press people. Okay, malfunction. Okay, that's a really bad store card and negate attack. Nice. I just Let's went look for at this classic with negate attack. <laughs> um, it's scary how bad our minds how closely our minds work. Even be pushed in. <laughs> Right, okay, Jose, I think you should reveal your your deck. Right, I'll go on to this. Ah. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There it is. Three, two, one. Let's look at this monstrosity. I see, I knew I knew there'd be an Atsu and a... Oh, I got fucking Soitsu as well. Or Koitsu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh. You've given me huge do. friendship as well. Um, yeah, I was, I was so oh. pissed off that Unity was a quick play spell and you didn't spin a single quick play spell <laughs> on the wheel. Well, you, you only spun one, so only one person. <laughs> yeah, so the Unity, only one person has... <laughs> Well, we this is ridiculous. Garma sword. <laughs> yep. So once again, any rich some of it for the Garma sword oath. <laughs> okay. There's something in there that will really help you summon him. <laughs> is, is it the ritual <laughs> Garma sword oath? <laughs> oh no! Apart from the spell, oh, apart from the, the spell, gravity collapse. Hey, that's not bad. I've got some synchro monsters. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, Trent, classic Trent. <laughs> the, the big, Look at that face. Big koala in Ganesha Elephantus. <laughs> <laughs> what does Gongato do? Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know. I was just struggling to think of Pendulum Monsters, and uh, Gongato was a fun card to say. <gasps> oh, this is going to be fun. Let's Look at that giant smiley cat. Level conversion lab. <laughs> I know you love a die roll. Okay, so I, thought, I might actually be able to summon some of these big monsters. That's, that was my thought behind it. Oh. <laughs> You've spun really poorly with the high level normal monsters. I thought I'm going to give you a chance with some of them here. I, I like that we both gave each other barracks, but you actually gave me the polymerization and the materials needed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I went a step further. I gave you goddess with the third eye. Oh, yeah, the substitute. I've given you some stuff to really help you summon Boost these in my, janky Boost in my extra deck. Fusion. Oh, you gave me second goblin as well. Yeah. Gravekeeper's vassal. Oh, there he is. The performer power friend donkey. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Level three effect monster. There's no way. It can't not be. <laughs> oh, and even the second donkey. Yep. You... You've got like all the level threes and like level one to four effect monsters on the wheel, and uh, I just looked up some performer power monsters and recognized the ones that I recognized and uh, threw them in. Oh, you give me ritual raven that what yes, that's that generous, be... yeah, that's gonna help me get out Garma Sword, <laughs> yep, <laughs> reverse trap. I like the fact that you've given me a nimble momonga, which is I'm at least get the <laughs> thousand points, but I can't special summon. <laughs> I've got a step further. Oh, Four power cheer. I've also hole. given you a giant germ. Yes, I see the giant germ. Just <laughs> giving you one ofs. Oh, this is awful. Oh, and the swordsman <laughs> from a distant land, which destroys the yeah. monster during the fifth end phase. <laughs> But, oh. crucially, he's a rotor target. Oh, joy. <laughs> also, compulsion of nature. <laughs> what? You, you spun a continuous spell. It's just going to be awful. <laughs> let's have a look at the extra deck and let's get into some games. What we got? That's a good idea. Dardust Chronicle Spark Dragon. Yeah. Okay. Muddy Mud Dragon. And Photon Pulse Dragon and Grenosaurus. Okay. Realistically, out of all the cards I've given you, you've got in your extra deck, Barox is the only one you're going to be able to summon. I, yeah, I figured I probably wouldn't be summoning any of these. <laughs> right, I say let me get into some jewels. And here we are, ready to give these janky piles of rubbish a test drive to see if anything is summonable. You can summon stuff, it just might take a while. I mean, I'm really looking forward to summoning the Hungry Burger and God knows what else is in here. I, I'm quite expecting you to summon Andro Sphinx. If I can pull off Dean and the Great Sphinx, I think I'm officially one at Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, it'd be quite an impressive. You're not going to give me the Pyramid of Life. I get continuous spell. <laughs> You didn't get right. a um, continuous trap, so unfortunately I can't give you Pyramid of Light. Oh, it's a trap, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, okay, right. What on earth have I got here? Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to start. 
uh, with a powerful step yep. and M phase. How have you? F oh God. Um... <laughs> how have you managed to set a monster? No, I'm just wondering how you've managed to do this. Ah, right. I'll be honest, I just threw some random stuff together. There wasn't too much logic behind it, just like small little... I'm, I'm, I'm going to summon the Wicked Worm Beast, and I want to know how you managed to give me a spirit monster without giving me a spirit monster. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, uh... This card, like, this the starter deck Kyber. <laughs> just... Right, I'll end the phase. Nostalgic. I've not got much else. I thought it was level four to begin with. Oh, what, well, the Wicked Worm Beast? Yeah. Yeah. Happy level three. Uh, annoyingly, now I know you've got that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to chip in for some damage. I'll summon United Resistance. Oh. And I'll attack for 1,000 to get the first damage of the series. Let's see. What, what can I do? Oh, yes. So, I'm going to activate Polymerization. Oh, my face. <laughs> and I'm going to pitch Frenzy Panda, the goddess with a third eye. In order to summon the mighty Barracks. Barracks. <laughs> He's got 1380 attack. <laughs> oh, the life point totals are going to be metal. Oh, right. Um, it's 1530. What else have I got? Oh. I have a normal summon yet. Yeah. What's this Barracks Worm Beast beatdown? So I'll go. What do I want to do here? No, I'm going to normal summon uh, my Water Spirit. No way. He's going to go to battle or attack. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Oh, you're about to. He's going to do it. Main two, I will special summon the Muddy Mad Dragon. <laughs> there it is. What does this actually do? Oh, uh, it's confusion, confusion substitute. Confusion. Okay. Yeah. So that would have helped you summon your Barrocks. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's, that's fusion I'm summoning. Pass because I'm just going to sit here and build a house with my hand. So I've fusion summoned and synchro summoned so far. We're only on turn six. <laughs> right, I'll normal summon the wicked worm. Um, yeah. What on earth does this do? And we'll set a cart and we'll go to battle. And we're just chipping for 14. It's worm... I really hope that's the card I think it is. It's Worm Beats. Worm Beats. <laughs> spirit Monster without a Spirit Monster. It's... Oh, my days. I'll pass. That was some... Uh... Oh, I actually... I've got the Ryuka Shen. Yep. <laughs> right, let's do a thousand. This is bloody awful. Just any any monster would be nice. Are you is sitting like on anything some... Uh... Someone... Quite high attack point monsters. I will tell you at the end of this what I'm sitting on. <laughs> I will. Let's just roll and out it's the all because beast. you don't know how the pendulum summoning works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that might be a problem. You can cope with yourself. You can get lucky on the die roll. Oh, wait, no, you can't. <laughs> yeah, so I, I kind of got streamlined. I thought, oh, this is a great idea. It'd be hilarious. But then. Yeah, I don't read. <laughs> no. There's nothing we learned about Yu-Gi-Oh! players by now they don't read. So, if I don't do something this turn, I'm going to be left with 20 life points. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, I'll end the phase. Also, 20. <laughs> <laughs> well. It's never been done in the history of the game. Oh, why would you do that with Muddy Mud Dragon? Well, I, I, I see game. <laughs> Gonna go for the win. No. The negate attack. The negate attack. Oh, it just ends the everything. Ends the battle phase. Yeah, I got one more turn to draw something. It's all right because I have Grenosaurus. Wait, you are not... Ah, that's an XC song. Right, okay, now. <laughs> so it's the first jewel you've managed to. Oh, so my I'm... word. I've got link summoning left, but sadly I didn't get a link, so... Uh, I will set one and activate forest. <laughs> oh, is that going to help me out at all? 
No, I don't think it will. Well, I'll just activate reverse trap. <laughs> I will activate malfunction. Oh. <laughs> Which actually did damage to my life points and was, just made yeah. you win even faster. Malfunction is not a good card. No. Uh, well, I guess really I'll, I'll just finish it off with Granosaurus. So game one, you've successfully managed to fusion, synchro, and XC summon. Yeah, I, I'd say I didn't do too badly. <laughs> My hand is currently Succubus Knight, King of Yamimakai, Lava Battle Guard, Thien and the Great Sphinx, and Taiho number two. Oh. <laughs> Taiho number two's got to be the That's worst. Awful, awful, awful. Oh, right. Right. So, now that this game's finished, what happens at the end of each game is we spin the wheel. Back to the wheel. Um, I think the way we're going to do this is that we're going to take it in turns to choose first, but as the winner, we will have an option to choose whether we want to re-spin the card that we get. Um, as I won, uh, do you want to go first, Chris? And pick what, with the with the spin? Yeah, I'll let you pick first on the spin. Okie dokie. If you want to spin yeah. it up then, and uh, let us know what we got. Right. You are going to be choosing between either an effect monster, five to six stars. Okay. Or give it plenty of clicks, make sure it spins. Uh, a continuous spell. A continuous spell. Yeah, so you've got an effect monster or a continuous spell. Okay. Um, effect monster 5 to 6. 5 to 6, yeah. I will definitely take the effect monster 5 to 6, please. Yeah, I figured you might. I figured you might. <laughs> um, right, so I either have a continuous spell, or because I want, I can spin again. What are you feeling? What are you feeling? Are they? I'm going to spin again, because I no continuous spells jumping out at me right now. No, nothing springs to mind. No, not like I can make use of that okay. very minute. <laughs> I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna use my ability to respin. And I'm and gonna get a continuous spell. <laughs> <laughs> the wheel already hates you. This is because you don't know how to paint. You love seven. Yeah, this wheel yeah. is gonna. The, the, this is my punishment. <laughs> right. Yeah. So what are we at? Uh, would you like me to announce now what card springs to mind that I'd like to add to my deck? I mean, I'd like to guess, because I actually think I know what you're going to go for. <laughs> um, I mean, I feel I've got to go for it. I am going to take Bestial Magnemut. Yeah, I saw I saw that coming. Right, so that means that I can't take Bestial Magnemut unless, for some reason, you give it up at a certain point. Yeah. <laughs> right, I need Which to I can't see happening any time soon. No, no. I need to think about... <sighs> what spells I want to get. I'm going to get rid of Succubus Knight. Ah, oh, not the Succubus. I think Weirdly, actually... Bestial Magnum that synergizes with the Dragon Core Hexer and Tyhone that you've given me. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, continuous spell. All right, I figured out. I'm going to pick up Heart of the Underdog. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a ton That's of normal monsters. Call. Let's get some draw power. Yeah. And I think I'm going to get rid of... Now, these beast fangs you've given me, how many beasts do I actually have? Well, I've got a few. I've got a few. I'm going to say... I'm going to say goodbye to the Yujo friendship. Boo! <laughs> well, you've... <laughs> You've got the uh, the unity as well, so oh, actually, I've got the chance to actually make it work. Yeah, yeah. UJ friendship is gone. I'm picking up the heart of the underdog. Fair enough. And what was it you removed for this deal? I got rid of Succubus Knight. Succubus Knight. Right. Uh, shall we jump into another game? Okay, ready up. Let's do this. Right. Rock paper scissors. I'm gonna go for this one. Yay. I'm gonna go second. I like second. Okay, right. So I get the joy of going first. You certainly do. I'll set one and set another and then the phase. <laughs> it's gonna be a while 
before I get a win here. I, it, it might be, yes. It's going to be a long time. I'm going to summon the mighty frenzied panda. Yep. And equip it with beast fangs. Oh, sweet lord. Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> frenzied panda swinging that bamboo. Yep. Move. Weirdly, one of the only summonable monsters in my deck. <laughs> There's loads of summoning. Of course, of course, I draw this the turn after. <laughs> I gave you the full package. Oh, that's so annoying. I've not got Master Reborn in there, have I? No, no, you have not. <laughs> right, you need to start drawing some of those level sevens. Right, let's uh, throw out the wicked worm beast. Okay, this is going to be your blooming meta monster. He's, he's doing well so far. Unfortunately, he must return. Is, I don't think I've got a single normal summonable monster in this deck that's above 1,400. That, well, you know, you've got the giant orc. <laughs> I'll banish the second goblin and summon bestial magnum. And personally, I don't feel that bad for you since you have bestial magnum. <laughs> going to be the MVP now. He's, I think he's going to be your saving grace at the moment. I got him early on. Right, I get to add a dragon monster from my deck to hand. Uh, not that it's going to make a sod bit of difference, but I'm going to add the dragon core hexa to my hand. I say, you got the dragon core hexa. Right, I... I'm just going to go with a T-set and pass. A tea set, okay. Tea set. Now I've got to think about what's actually in your deck. Well, you gave it to me. I know. Uh, just trying to think if there's anything in there that could backfire on me. No. I'd never lay a trap. I'll for go you. to Brackle. I'll attack for 25 and just take 500 damage. My big germ. On the face. Slightly larger germ. All right. Let's... And now, the twenty-five hundred beat stick is the answer. Yeah, I don't know how I'm getting through that. Let's uh, set a card and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> the back foot. It's amazing how one card can change it all. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna normal summon United Resistance. If you can get the huge revolution, I will be most pleased. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to activate Horn of the Unicorn on United Resistance. Oh. Just so I can have a little bit of presence. I'll attack you face down with Bestial Magnumut. Oh, my crew banded. <laughs> banded. <laughs> didn't want a normal summon him then, no? <laughs> no, no, I didn't think I was going to get anywhere with him. Ha, okay. Let's. Set two and pass. Okie dokie. I uh, have a feeling I'm not long for this game. <laughs> no. You might not be. Magnum at coming to in. This it's an almighty swing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move to battle. Attack with Magnum up. Mm -hmm. And then attack with United Resistance. Right, come on. There's got to be a card in here somewhere. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> oh, uh, I don't think what I've given to you now that will backfire on me. Uh, sadly, nothing in my hand. Um, let's try... Let's try this card. Over to you. Uh, I'm going to normal summon my Chrysalis Lava. Okay. And I will activate Burning Spear on Chrysalis Lava. Oh. I will activate Wait, Armor what? Break. Oh, sweet lord! <laughs> <laughs> I, I set it too late. If I had done it on Horny Unicorn, it would have been brilliant because it just stacked it. <laughs> right. 
Uh, I'll move to battle, attack with bestial magnum up. <laughs> I don't think I have five I'll turns. just wait five turns. Uh, I could just chisel here, but I need to get in yeah. with a yeah. United get Resistance you, get game. on the board. Yeah. Right. Uh, I did have United Resistance set, that trap card. Or the huge route of the revolution, revolution is over. Yeah. Yeah, huge revolution. So, right. Boom. Back to the wheel. In that wheel and uh, tell us the choices. So, uh, we, well, do I pick first now? Uh, yeah, you got first choice because I got first choice last oh boy, time. I've got a choice between a normal one to four star monster. Normal one to four? What did I do to upset the wheel? Or an effect monster, seven plus stars. I will be taking, okay, which one are you taking? an effect monster, seven plus stars. I know where this is going. So yeah. I've got a normal one to four, or I can have a wheel spin. Yes. Uh, I'm actually going to stick with normal monster one to four stars. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's... Uh... Um, I know what I'm going to be going after. Let's head back to the deck, because I already know as well. Yeah. And I think you know as I well. Will... Well, I know the archetype you'll be going for, but I don't know which one you're going for. Oh. Uh, I will be picking up Cash Tier or Fenrir. Go for Fenrir, okay. Go for Fenrir, I like Fenrir. And yeah. I will be getting rid of... I'm going to be getting rid of the second goblin because I don't have the. Yeah. I don't have the giant orc. And he has 150 points that. less than the swordsman from a distant land. <laughs> It'll make all the difference. It certainly will. I'm going to be adding Alexandrite Dragon. Very nice. That's a nice. And I'm going to get rid spell. of. Um, difficult choice because it's all bloody awful. I'm gonna get rid of Dragon Core. No, I'm gonna get rid of King of Yamima Kai. I was gonna say no, Dragon Core Hex is your only way into your synchro so far. <laughs> yeah, but is he though? Ah, oh, this is a tough decision. Because King of Yamimakai is actually somewhat summonable. I feel like this is kind of your fault, but I'm going to get rid of Thin and the Great Sphinx. I really want to summon him, but if you'd have, yeah, if yeah. you'd have got the Pendulum Scales right... <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> you could have spun right. a Pendulum Monster and picked as yourself As hilarious up a... as it would be to summon him. <laughs> so he's called the Alexandrite Dragon. Right, fair right. enough. Uh, the next round... Let's... It worked for me last time. It didn't work for me this time. Uh, I'm actually going to go first. All right. Going to get a little bit of board presence early on. Uh, okay, that appears to have backfired on me a little bit. I will set one, two, and end the phase. Okay, let's see. What can I do here? Um, what does that do? Oh, that does not sound like a risk I want to take. <laughs> oh, I have to take it either way. Let's uh, let's look at my extra deck just to get you a bit scared. Your extra deck? You're not going to be able to summon Barox, are you? I certainly can. Oh my god, you actually are going to be able to summon Barox. <laughs> the mighty Barox. I'm going to really regret giving you that goddess with a third eye. I'm also going to normal summon Witch of the Black Rose. That's even more frightening. Um, oh, I can draw cards, that's fine. Unfortunately, you gave me a 10, not a 9. Yeah. But damage is damage. Is it, though? Bestial Magnumut. Oh, I banished no. your god with the third eye and summoned Bestial Magnumut. That, that thing is going to be glued to your hand, I just know. <laughs> well, I won't continue my attack. You know, this... Yeah. Um, I will just go to main two and I shall set a card and end the phase 
Bestial Magnum it will add Alexandrite Dragon to my hand. Yeah, you got a beautiful little two card combo going on now. Got to do something. <laughs> yeah, you needed something summonable. I'll normal summon the Alexandrite Dragon. Yep. Okay, we're going to move to battle. I'll attack your Barrot with Bestial Magnum. Yep. Oh, 1,120 points of damage. That's 20 points. What were they uh, thinking? And I will end the phase. Right, what have I got here? Well, it's immediately looking like it's gone wrong for me. <laughs> but let's activate Convulsion of Nature. <laughs> Said no one ever. And I will set a card and end the phrase. <laughs> Is this not just better? Yeah, I think everyone should duel this way. Right, okay. None of this mystery. <laughs> I've got a normal some of my Neospatial Blair Scarab. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to move to battle. Uh... I don't know what on earth you could possibly have, but I'm going to attack with Flare Scarab. It's only my little ritual raven. Attack with Alexandrite Dragon. Oh, and then is... attack with the Steel Magnemut. The fact that you've, you've only just picked up Magnemut and you've seen it both games is <laughs> rather distressing. I'm going to have to make you, Joe, friendship. <laughs> well, unless you've got... Um... What it says that half uh, both our life points. Yep, oh, I just thought it'd be funny. I'll accept. <laughs> accept it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> We're both at five thousand and forty life points. <sighs> and I'll end the phase. A big nimble Mamonga and giant germ. What are the chances? <laughs> They're so useless right. in this format, other than to gain life points. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to normal summon oppressed people. Ah, the mighty oppressed people. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to go one and two and link summon Linker Bell. Ah, oh, I actually didn't. Know. Because I have at least three or more cards in my extra deck than you. Yes. Yeah, you, you've got you've got almost a full extra deck. <laughs> I move the battle. I know that's um, Nimble Momonga, so you get a thousand life points. Yep, which I need desperately. So attack for a nice 45 to take you to a nice round 1540. I should have kept Ujo Friendship, but I leveled it back up again. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'm going to set a mystery card that you don't know. Hmm. Quite. And watch you draw another mystery card that I don't know. <laughs> Convulsion of nature, what a stupid card. I'll activate Scroll of Bewitchment. I don't know why this is in here, but I'll attach it to Linker Bell and make him a water monster. Well, I needed to think of a really useless equip spell to give you. <laughs> I'll attack. Take 500. And fist your magnum up for the second game. In a row. That that magnum is absolutely tearing me apart. <laughs> like, out of three games, I've lost two. <laughs> All because of magnum. Yeah. Right. Let's. So it's uh, my pick first this time it for is, the wheel spin. But I. But then you've got the victory. Yeah. Yeah. You've but got I... the wins advantage, I suppose. So I think this would be a good place to end it. Let's do the spin, but let's leave the uh, cards that we choose till next time. Yes. Yes. So, spinning the wheel. So our choices are going to be... An Effect Monster 3 star. Effect Monster 3 star, yeah? Yep. Or... An Effect Monster 1 star. Oh. <laughs> now... I am going to take the effect monster one star. So I get the choice of a three star effect monster or I could gamble it all. Yeah. Uh, 
I love a bit of a gamble. I'm going to use the winner's advantage. Give us a respin, please, Jose. In that round. Let's see what you That's get. That's my bad to the restart on, effect. Come on. You get a continuous trap. I'll take a continuous trap. Hey, you can pick up that pyramid of light for your sphinx stick. Damn it, I just got rid of Theoden. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, okay. I guess we will reveal what we've chosen next time. Yeah, join us back up for the next episode of uh, From Jank to Rank as we gradually take these decks from the monstrosities that they are. Hopefully over the course of this series, Joe will learn how to pendulum summon. <laughs> no, no, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll uh, catch you next time.